when we listen to beautiful music and when we behold beautiful art, these things should not just be a mere appreciation of culture, some sort of historical cultural knowledge. Rather, they should transform our lives. The Miserere by Gregorio Allegri is one of the most popular and famous pieces of sacred music. The text of the Miserere comes from Psalm 50, or 51, depending on your numeration. This is David's prayer for repentance after committing adultery with Bathsheba and killing her husband. But it is also a text which has some of the most poignant and important spiritual aspirations of our Christian life. The first half of Psalm 51, Psalm 50, the Miserere, speaks of repentance, penitence, sorrow for sin. But the second half speaks of union with God, asking him to create in us a clean heart to be united with him now and forever. O God, create a clean heart in me and renew in me a steadfast spirit. Against you, you alone have I sinned. These texts are very helpful for our Lenten journey as we beg God's mercy for our many sins. Domine labia mea aperies, et os meam annunciabit laudum tuam. This is the text with which we begin every day of our choral office. The Miserere Mei was originally used at the end of Tenebrae. Tenebrae is the office, the offices of Matins and Lauds for the Holy Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. Traditionally, this rite is prayed beginning at 3 a.m. in the middle of the dark night. And in fact, Tenebrae means darknesses. In this liturgy, we commemorate the darkness which pervaded at the death of Christ. The Miserere comes at the very end of this liturgy, and thus we can imagine how amazing Allegri's piece would have sounded at the end of a long, mournful, and dark liturgy of Gregorian chant. Allegri's masterful composition is notable for three main reasons. The text is composed in a falso bordonic style. This means that when you listen to the piece, you will hear the choir singing the same chords over a long line of text. This allows us to hear very well the text that is being sung, making it all the more poignant for our spiritual meditation. Secondly, Allegri's masterpiece helps us to realize the very real fact that music affects our emotions. Therefore, this beautiful piece of sacred music helps us to repentance. Thirdly, Allegri's text is notable for the resolutions. What makes this piece such a beautiful work of art is the resolution of various chords. And this, we could say, is a model for our own life of penance. What is beautiful about repentance is the resolution. You can hear this piece sung here in our Abbey Church on Good Friday during the veneration of the cross. May it be for you, as it has been for me, a great call to repentance, 
holiness of life and trust in the Sacred Heart of Jesus.